Liam, a tough win, but it's two out of three. Yeah, delighted. Uh, delighted with the first half performance. Played some outstanding football in the first half. And to win games of football, it's not just about playing nice football. It's about standing up and being physical. And we've spoken a lot about the physical challenge of League One. And I think Barnsley are going to be right up there at the end of the season. They, they put on a great performance second half. I have to say, Aaron Cashin's performance was magnificent. And he epitomises the group at the moment because it was a hot day. And we've spoken again about the fitness levels, about the pre-season. And it's going to take time. But what the players did with their mentality to win the game was they didn't stop running. They didn't stop defending. And that's exactly what I'm looking for in terms of the mentality and, and the mental toughness of the group. Because losing Curtis Davis is, is a blow, of course yeah. it is. But Richard Stearman is more than reliable and, uh, and him and Cash together were, were outstanding today. It's a squad game, you know, and that's why it's so important to have a, have a really good squad. And the great thing with Steers, you trust him. He puts everything into every game, made some great blocks today, some outstanding bits of defending. And him and Cash, fortunately for us, through pre-season and, and on Tuesday, have played together quite a lot in pre-season. So they understand each other's game. Um, but yeah, it's not just those two. Uh, James Collins did not stop working through the game. At the end, he's back in the box, heading balls out of the box, defending. It's a team effort. And, and from 1 to 11, I will never have a go at the players. We may have games, games like today where we don't play to our level, but they, they give 100%. And I will never, ever have a go at players for making mistakes. They just need to give that effort, which they 100% did today. I wanted to ask you about James Collins and about his role in, in the first goal because something I've seen you work on at, at training is is making sort of selfless runs yeah. to open up space. Is that what he did on the first he goal? He did. Credit Bucko with the set play. Uh, unbelievable. And, and to be honest, the set plays have been good. We nearly scored a few at Charlton from them. And the great thing about this group is you give them uh, information or you tell them where to run and they just do it. Uh, and Bucko has been working really, really hard on the training ground with set plays. Colo ran exactly where he needed to run for it. And, and Steers is claiming the goal. I'm not sure about it myself, but I'd love him to get the goal. But that sums up James Collins. He's so unselfish. He's a huge focal point for us. And uh, he nearly scored an absolutely fantastic team goal as well. So I'm, I'm delighted with him. Uh, you mentioned Barnsley. You, you were tested by a good team today, weren't you? You could see they're a good side. And, you know, it's not been a kind fixture list to us the first three games. You've got Oxford, Charlton away and Barnsley at home. To get six points from three games is the average you need for the season for us to be where we want to be. So I'm absolutely delighted considering the start we've had through pre-season, getting this group together and getting six points. If you'd have said to me at the start, you're going to get six points from three games, I'd have actually snapped your hands off. And it, But now we've got to go away from home and make sure we pick up points at Shrewsbury on Tuesday and uh, Fleet would on Saturday and I make sure that we're at it and the lads are already in their ice baths which I think for the first time it's not been hard to tell them to get in the ice bath with the with the temperature uh, we make sure that this game's done we park it and we move on to Tuesday well done today thank you